Hello, and welcome to the Curated Beauty Podcast. I'm Jessica Christie, CEO of Beauty Culture Med Spa and the founder of the new functional and regenerative business, Cultured Wellness. From my start as a physician assistant to now not only being a practitioner, but leading my own businesses, I've been on a unique journey through health, beauty, and entrepreneurship. Join us as we explore everything from skincare secrets to leadership lessons. Whether you're passionate about beauty or striving to balance life's challenges, this is your space to connect, learn, and shine. Let's dive in. Welcome back to the Curated Beauty Podcast. I am Jessica Christie, your host for today. I am solo, and we're going to talk about something very exciting. As the owner of Beauty Culture Med Spa, which is an aesthetic medicine practice, and of Cultured Wellness, which is a practice specializing in regenerative functional medicine, we've really realized a dream in combining beauty and wellness. We have for many years been treating people and we've been hearing, I just want to look the age I feel. I don't feel 60, so I don't want to look 60. But there are those people that come in and say, I feel 60, help me. So our patients not only look good, but we're committed to helping them feel as good as they look and to really marry those two worlds. It's holistic and it's in our brand. We want to treat the whole patient. We want to be a one-stop shop for people in their journey to wellness, which this journey to wellness is really personal to me. My dad always says, gosh, if I can walk around and breathe air, I have everything. And without my health, I have nothing. And it's my passion to extend this lifestyle of wellness to as many people as possible. It's really what I feel like my drive has been in the recent years. So today we delve into ozone therapy, a topic gaining traction in the wellness world. But first, let's briefly touch on the current state of healthcare and why regenerative practices are popping up by the dozens. The frustration with doctor's visits and healthcare costs and the often ineffective treatments are all too common. These coupled with my own and my family's journey have really solidified my commitment to holistic health. Let's talk about the staggering cost of healthcare. There was a Boston Globe report using data from Fidelity Investments. It highlighted that a retired couple might need $240,000 for health expenses in retirement. Okay, so this includes $93,000 for Medicare premiums, leaving a net of $147,000 for additional costs just for like a small ticket and a small price to pay to stay healthy. And this is honestly just the average. This is not including people who have major health crises or dental or even long-term care. That's a huge issue too. So this is a sobering reminder of the financial impact of health. And this is just talking about retirement, not even while we're young and healthy. And there's a lot of things happening to young and healthy people. Ozone therapy, which is our main topic, is often misunderstood. And it's a powerful treatment that has shown promise in combating chronic diseases, even including cancer. We're going to explore its role in oxygen utilization, which is a critical factor that's often overlooked by traditional medicine. Surprisingly, every single patient with cancer or a chronic disease exhibits decrease in oxygen utilization, which is showing that it's just a fundamental aspect of health, but we don't put enough weight into it. Ozone therapy works by enhancing oxygen delivery and utilizing oxygen in the body more efficaciously. It's about getting oxygen effectively to where we need it most. But remember, ozone therapy is not a standalone solution. It's part of a holistic approach to health, encompassing all kinds of things like nutrition, circulation, overall well-being. There is the analogy of a train, and you have the train and all the cars, and without the engine and the train, you wouldn't have any forward movement. And you can think of ozone therapy and oxygen utilization as the engine. And you can turn that up and make it go as fast as you can. But if it doesn't have all the other key components with all the cars, then you're missing something. Circulation is another huge one. Without circulation, you aren't going to get this oxygen anywhere. And then there's a whole other facet of things that our body needs, like glucose and fats and minerals and vitamins and so on and so forth. Let's focus on the practical application of ozone therapy, particular ozone saunas, because I recently had an experience that I will share with something called a hocket at Tringali Health down in West Palm Beach, Florida. 
And these innovative saunas combine the benefits of steam and ozone. So it's offering comprehensive health boosts. And the Hocket actually does 10 therapies all in one, which we'll get into a little bit. And research on the sauna, saunas in general have shown significant health benefits, including decreased risk of cardiovascular disease and improving longevity. There's a direct correlation with how many times you sauna per week and the rate at which people die of things like sudden cardiac death or cardiac disease or strokes. And in my own experience with the Hocket, I was actually really amazed at the effectiveness of the treatment. I really felt like there was something super intense going on in my body, but it was hard to believe because my body didn't feel under stress and I actually felt relaxed. So it's a testament to the power of really these biohacking innovative therapies in enhancing our health and wellness regimes. Listen, my life is crazy busy. I work really hard. The last thing I need to do is be trying to muster up the strength to go expend a ton of energy trying to really get to a higher level of health. But if I can sit in this capsule for 30 minutes amongst all the other things I do, I do lift weights. I do eat healthy. I do hydrate. Like you have to still do all these other things like these cars on the train. But if I can add this as that engine to fuel all those things and make them work better, and give myself something that otherwise doesn't have, man, talk about explosive health and wellness journey. So as we continue to explore the multifaceted world of health and beauty, remember that beauty culture and cultured wellness has the main goal of helping you not just look great, but feel fantastic from the inside out. And ozone therapy is just one avenue in our journey to holistic health and wellness. There's two things that doctors will agree on that keep people healthy. And the first is balancing free radical production. Free radicals are molecules in the body that the body makes them from oxygen. And so free radicals are very powerful molecules that our cells need to stay healthy. However, they are so reactive that they need to be very tightly controlled. And this is what we call antioxidant enzyme systems. And if they're not tightly regulated, they will destroy cells or DNA, and they can actually become really dangerous. How do we determine how efficiently these antioxidant control systems are working? Well, it's the efficiency of your oxygen metabolization. So when you have oxygen being metabolized effectively, these systems work better. There's less free radical damage that you will have and the healthier you're going to be. And frankly, the longer that you're going to live. When we really go back and look at how doctors are assessing us and what it means to be a good doctor, our doctors used to be incredible and they used to be good detectives and they would sort through all the clues. And I think about what makes me a good practitioner and it's just that, like you're taking things in, you're truly exhibiting good listening skills. It reminds me recently I was on a walk with my dog and there's been a lot of break-ins recently in our neighborhoods. And so with me walking the dog right after a holiday, I got major Kevin McAllister vibes as I was walking up to this house. There was a big black truck backed into it. There was a kind of shady guy looming around the truck. And long story short, when I started to get little spidey senses that something wasn't right, the truck drove away. The guy walked away. I sent a picture to an officer that I have his cell phone because clearly I have to call the police too many times. And he basically was like, I'm going to make a detective out of you yet because you just literally blew the cover on this crazy ring that's been breaking into houses. And I ended up having to talk to the FBI and New York Police Department. And basically by putting all of those cues together, had uncovered that these were the guys that were moving into neighborhoods, coming from New York and Miami, ravaging a couple of really nice houses and moving along. And me and my dog, we were the detectives that got to put that together. So gone are the days of, first of all, neighbors that care because no one wants to get involved. It's very multifaceted as well. And I don't blame them. And also doctors, we have insurance industries working with big pharma and big government driving costs so exorbitantly high that you'd have to be either crazy or so broke not to carry insurance premiums. And as a result, your doctor can just get whatever medical treatment they want you to be on because they think that you're absorbing the cost in insurance. 
Well, here, my friends, is where the entrance of all of these regenerative and wellness practices are. They're medical practices that aren't practicing with insurance companies, but they're trying to keep costs reasonable to patients and actually get them healthy and keep them well rather than just treat and put Band-Aids on sick care. Really, it's sick care. So these poor doctors have literally no time to spend with patients now. The insurance and government regulators routinely tell them how much time they can spend with a patient and what can be covered. And they can basically give you a drug for the symptom and then they can give you another drug and another drug and another drug for all the side effects. There was a book that I read, I think it's called Everybody's Sick and I Know Why or something along those lines. And it was really laying out the evolution of allopathic or Western medicine, which is what we all use our insurance for and know, versus homeopathic medicine. And homeopathic medicine had some major basis for being a very stellar form of medicine, but it just happened that the AMA chose allopathic medicine to run with. Now that's the one that everyone thinks is Bible. But we have now another problem of doctors using specialists and referring to specialists. And I remember this back in my surgery days when I was in a surgical specialty we would get a patient come to the ER and need surgery. So we would operate, but they had all these comorbidities, diabetes, obesity, heart disease. And we would try to admit them to medicine where we were the consultants, which meant that medicine had to manage everything, admit them. They were the number one call when the nurses had issues or whatever. They were the responsible party for this patient being admitted to the hospital. And then they also had to do the discharge and make sure that they were going home on all the appropriate medications. And it was always this constant battle because the surgeons were like, I don't know how to manage that. And then the general practitioner, whether it was internal medicine or family medicine, would be like, well, he's here for a cholecystectomy. Get his gallbladder out for his sludgy gallbladder. So I'm not admitting him. I'll manage the diabetes, but I'm not going to do all of the things that you need to do. And so it's just really where I used to always visualize it needs to be a cruise director and like telling everyone where to go and what to do. and We've completely lost that. Everyone kind of wipes their hands clean. I remember all my soap notes that I would write in the assessment and plan. It's like waiting on this person for their two cents on how to manage this person. And so it really leads to misdiagnoses, over-medication, tons of increase in expenses. And none of these specialists even have a vague idea what the other one is prescribing, let alone doing. Because listen, they didn't even read the soap notes. You have now doctors that are used to giving patients medication, patients that won't leave or are not satisfied unless they are prescribed something. And you're getting these people on excess of 10 medications and it's really getting out of hand. Talk about over prescribing of antibiotics. This is an interesting one to bring into ozone therapy because now due to antibiotic overuse, the germs are becoming resistant and our antibiotics aren't working very well. And they're wreaking havoc on our gut. I have SIBO because many reasons, but I'm sure antibiotics played into it. So one of the most wonderful things about ozone therapy is that it can dramatically help this problem because when antibiotics are used in combination with ozone therapy, they're actually much more effective and the chance of resistance falls to zero. Crazy. It actually used to be relatively rare for doctors to see conditions like Alzheimer's and Parkinson's and diabetes and autoimmune disorders let alone diabetes in young people. But now it's plentiful. We see autism in droves where I'm telling you, you used to have to like go to a university that's studying this specific issue to be able to see an autistic kid. Now you go to Costco and you see three of them. Anxiety and depression and GERD and cancer in children and colitis. I mean, how many people do you know that are being diagnosed with Crohn's disease? It's getting crazy. The other thing is that in the last 60 years, we have an overwhelming amount of pollution in our water and our food and our air. Since World War II, more than 80,000 new chemicals have actually been invented and new ones are being released into the environment every year. And there's no checks and balances on this. We have 10 million tons of toxic chemicals that are released into our environment every year. And of these, over 2 million of them are known recognized carcinogens. So our environment is being contaminated with chemicals, heavy metals. Our system is not even recognizing the dangers of this. But as bad as this sounds, you know, those strange infections that you used to have to go to other countries to see like malaria and diphtheria. 
Now you don't have to go to there to get them. They are coming to us and the incidence of disease is dramatically affecting our system. And we now have a system that says, wait until you get a disease and then we'll treat it. You have these healthy women that all of a sudden just get a breast slump. You've heard it all the time. Healthiest person I knew, blah, 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 blah. But here she is with breast cancer. Well, that person wasn't healthy leading up to that. Something happened in her system and led to that. And then let's not forget aging. You have symptoms and ailments and you're basically looking at the system to write you off and tell you what do you expect at your age. Like the whole concept of medical gaslighting is really becoming an issue. So what do we do? Like if you're not depressed, you probably turned this off already because (laughs) that's so depressing. But it's not your fault. It's literally the system that we work in. And unleashing something like the power of ozone is really, there's no other word than magical. It is so good. Oxygen is so, so powerful. And as we have seen, it's oxygen that's at the center of every aspect of health. You can't live without it. So let's talk about from a scientific level. I just want to briefly talk about eight things that the ozone therapy can do for our bodies from a scientific level. And then I just want to give you some clinical applications and we'll move along. So number one, ozone therapy increases the delivery of oxygen to the cell. So we talked about that. You can inhale all the good oxygen that you want, but if it's not being taken and delivered where it needs to be, it's not going to work. So as we get older, due to decreased circulation, which we talked about that being one of the cars on the train, that we get less oxygen. It's just a fact of life. And thank God ozone can really offset that by delivering more of the good stuff to your cells. Number two, ozone therapy increases oxygen utilization. So Not getting enough oxygen to the cells is bad, but the other thing that happens as we get older is that our cells become less able to efficiently use the oxygen that they get. So in other words, much of the oxygen gets wasted. And in some people, it's as much as 50%. Ozone therapy has really been able to improve the ability of the cells to use the oxygen that they're getting. And therefore, ozone therapy treats the single most important cause of all disease, which is the inability to adequately extract energy from the oxygen that we breathe. Number three, ozone stimulates cytokine function. Cytokines, you may remember things like cytokine storms from COVID infections. That may be your most relative attachment to that word. Cytokines are the magic molecules in our immune system that they use to control and eliminate infections and cancers. And this is why ozone is so effective for people that are on these so-called incurable infections like herpes 1 and 2, hepatitis B and C, flu viruses and other viruses. It's also why when it's used in conjunction with antibiotics that it's preventing one of the major problems, which is antibiotic resistance. Number four, ozone therapy increases nitric oxide production. This is another big buzzword in regenerative medicine practices and concierge functional medicine lately because I honestly would take an entire podcast to just talk about nitric oxide and the importance of it, but it's really critical for heart and circulatory function and health and blood pressure and immune function and actually even sexual function. And nitric oxide, it just decreases from the aging process itself, but ozone can really, really massively increase that. Number five, ozone therapy increases hemoxygenase 1. I don't even really know how to say that, but it's HO-1. And that's what the body uses to protect us against the number one killer in America, which is heart attacks and strokes. And HO-1 is very inflammatory. Number six, ozone therapy stimulates detoxification. So we talked about this a little bit. Detox refers to all the processes that go on in the cells, the liver, the kidneys, that are responsible for removing toxic substances like waste products from our bodies that are produced by medications, heavy metals, environmental chemicals, all the things we already talked about. And as we get older, we lose our ability to detoxify. And so when we get that buildup, we start turning into our own little toxic waste dumps and ozone really massively improves the ability to detox. In fact, with just ozone, it's great, but also with ozone and the far infrared that I talked about that comes in this Hocket device, you have that seven times more effective detoxification that you can see in the combination of those two therapies. Talk about your heavy metal exposure. This is what all people should be doing for prevention. 
before they get pregnant and males before you choose to procreate. Like this is something that you absolutely should be doing, but also we're exposed to so much. Just get that detox going on a more routine basis. Number seven, ozone therapy stimulates antioxidant enzymes. A lot of medical scientists will agree that the cause of every chronic degenerative disease from cancer to heart disease and even the aging process itself is damage caused by excess of dangerous molecules called free radicals. But our cells were designed with antioxidant enzyme systems, which are in a lot of our skincare too, to protect us from these free radicals. So as we get older, these enzymes stop working so well. So they're not breaking down the free radicals like they used to. And the result becomes that we're more susceptible to disease and we age faster. Research has shown once again that ozone therapy is so good for this and it actually increases antioxidant enzymes by as much as 300%. So there's no other therapy known to mankind that can do that. And not only is that going to help you with all the free radicals that are doing damage to your tissues, but how anti-aging for this to be happening. And lastly, number eight, ozone is directly toxic to all microbes. So this is including bacteria. So think about all the applications that we have for aesthetics like acne, body acne, fungus, again, whether it's candida infections, which are really common, or even topical fungus like tinea versicolor, it heals so many skin conditions. And then all the viruses that we fight, chronic inflammation from those types of things and all these microbes are what leads to things like cancer in our bodies. A microbe has never been found to be resistant to ozone. And in this day and age with all the superbugs and antibiotic resistance and super infections, Ozone therapy can truly be the difference between life and death. And is ozone therapy a complete substitute for your doctor? No. As fantastic as ozone therapy is, there might still be times where you need a medication or you need a surgery, but I can promise you that this will save you and your family many trips to the doctor's office. And when you're fighting things like cancer, there couldn't be anything better than something like ozone therapy to put together with those other treatments. And even when you need good medical attention, it can spell the difference between a good outcome and a bad outcome. And best of all, by using ozone therapy in a method called preconditioning, essentially we're preventing the need for a doctor in the first place. So we want to focus on wellness and preconditioning does that by removing the factors that end up causing this disease and it really slows down the aging process. So when we look at indications for how we would utilize this at Cultured Wellness and even Beauty Culture and why I want to put a hocket into Beauty Culture and Cultured Wellness at the beginning of 2024 is so many. So aging is number one. And you have circulation that's going to be compromised during the aging process. And that's because your cells are just getting less oxygen. And second, your cells are going to be less able to use that oxygen they get. So the decreased cellular energy and everything that goes along with that decreased stamina, decreased muscle, decreased bone mass, weight gain, decreased organ function, you're going to be more susceptible to disease. And so being able to offer ozone therapy to slow this process down is just paramount. The number two application that we can see with ozone therapy is autoimmune disease, which man, this has become such a word that almost affects every house. So systemic inflammation and damaging tissues and organs we really want to utilize ozone therapy to rebalance the immune system and optimize immune function. And this does so by the cytokines that we talked about. And it also can decrease inflammation and really help with things like multiple sclerosis and lupus and scleroderma, rheumatoid arthritis, Hashimoto's, any thyroid conditions that are autoimmune. A really amazing treatment for all of that. And Epstein-Barr virus. Those are just really big ones that kind of are sort of a separate category, but play into what we're starting to perceive as autoimmune diseases. Okay, bladder conditions. There's a specific kind of insufflation technique for the bladder, but their condition interstitial cystitis is one that has been a really difficult thing to treat. And it's a longstanding inflammation. And when they just did ozone therapy, so I'm not even talking about this pocket machine, 55% of people in the a group with interstitial cystitis were completely cured and 30% were substantially improved after only three weeks of ozone therapy. And because it's such a difficult and painful problem, 
patients with interstitial cystitis really are just so grateful for the improvement that ozone therapy can offer them with really no downtime, no buy-in. Like it's just really, really amazing. When we talk about how ozone therapy can be indication for cancer, ozone therapy by itself is not an effective therapy, but when combined with other therapies, either conventional or alternative, however your mindset goes with that, it's really critical as part of the treatment because it's helping combat things like surgery and chemotherapy and radiation. It actually makes them more effective as well. So when we think about the main cause of death from cancer happens when cancer returns. Don't believe the doctors when they say, oh, your cancer's gone. That's the famous last words. And so doing something like Hockett to maintain your results and really keep that disease at bay is really, really important for someone who's had a cancer diagnosis and even entered into what we would call remission. Another really big one is cardiovascular disease and strokes. We're increasing that oxygen delivery to the cardiac and the brain tissue. We're improving the circulation. We're eliminating infective vulnerable plaques and we're increasing the oxygen utilization in cardiac and brain cells. We see massive improvement with people with cold and flu. We see improvement with people with decubitus and diabetic foot ulcers. We see it being really good for people with diabetes ear infections, fungal infections of the toenails and the nails and the skin. Like I said, hepatitis, herpes viruses, both one and two, impetigo or abscess formations or skin infections. And then also the chronic or the resistant infections that I was kind of playing into with the autoimmune. You know, when you have things like hepatitis B and C or Epstein-Barr virus, cytolomegavirus, HIV, tuberculosis, Lyme disease is huge. It's because ozone stimulates the immune system by as much as 400% to produce that cytokine molecule, that magic molecule to fight those infections. And so ozone therapy can really spell the difference between living with a chronic infection and really almost getting rid of it. It is so good for those inflammatory bowel diseases like ulcerative colitis and Crohn's, many different eye issues like macular degeneration, memory issues, periodontal disease. MRSA infections, osteomyelitis, and so many sinus infections, shingles, scalp conditions like dandruff and rashes and seborrheic dermatitis, rectal fissures, hemorrhoids. It is just incredible. So I really am so excited to be able to bring this into beauty culture. I wanted you guys to have a high level of understanding of what ozone therapy is before I start telling you that you need to come in and get it. But basically it's for everyone. It was such an amazing experience and I really look forward to being able to get ongoing treatment myself and having that ability with a device right in our very own business. And that's a wrap on another enriching episode of the Curated Beauty Podcast. If today's conversations resonated with you, I urge you to share it with someone you believe could benefit from it. Let's spread the beauty, knowledge, and empowerment far and wide. For more in-depth resources, information about who we are, or if you're interested in becoming a patient or training directly with me or one of my team, visit our website at beautyculturespa.com. Don't forget to stay connected with us on Instagram for all the latest updates behind the scenes and beauty wisdom. Follow us at beautyculture.medspa and at B Cultured Wellness. That's the letter B Cultured Wellness. Thank you for being with us today. Keep curating your beauty both inside and out. Until next time.